Hi guys, I'm Diwa and today I'm so excited to give you a gravel bike review and this is none other than the 2024 Polygon Band R9X Come on, let's go! The Polygon Band R9X is an aluminium frame gravel bike that comes with a carbon fiber fork Now it's got a lot of goodies in this bike and let me tell you more starting with the group set Now the group set is a SRAM rival AXX 1x12 electronic group set and not only that but it is a full group set full SRAM rival group set so the crank set we have got a 165mm crank arm fitted with a 40T chain ring for the cassette it is a 1044T combination now interestingly this comes with a carbon fiber wheel set as well and that is from Novatec G24 carbon wheel set and as for the tire, it fits on a V Rocket Man 700 by 44 c tire, and both the tire as well as the wheel set are tubeless ready. Now, of course, it is on disc brake, and this is a SRAM rival hydraulic disc brake. As for the rotor, it is SRAM's pace line 160 mm, both front and rear. And lastly, I want to highlight this interesting thing about the bike, and that is it comes with a Dropper Pose, uh, it's RockShox Dropper Pose, the RockShox XLPRT, AXX Dropper Pose as well, and it has got a 75mm travel. All these goodies together, the bike weighs 10.35kg for an S size frame and 10.65kg for a M size frame. Now, the current retail price, well, I think you can't imagine. It is going at 3,499 Singapore dollars. If you're looking at the specs on paper itself, looks incredible and it's just amazing. It's a steal. But how does it fare on the road? Let me tell you more. On tarmac routes, we definitely don't expect the bike to perform like a race bike or be very, very fast because it is simply not designed to do that. Now, it is more of an endurance bike, so you can really ride at a very comfortable posture. It's very upright and it has very good stability and it can still bring me up to a decent top speed if I really put in the effort. But once it go off the road, the bike will come to life because that is where its home is. The bike is engineered for that. So off the road, the bike is still incredibly stable. The handling is very, very good and it's so comfortable. Now the geometry itself, I think plays a very big part because it makes my body very upright and shift my CG down and backward, which is why I feel like I have so much handling, such good handling about this bike, even on these loose gravels and it can really tackle different type of gravel surfaces thanks to the white tire that I'm having the V Rocketman tire now 744C is really wide and it gives me enough traction to maneuver even these corners and it can go up to 50C so if you are going to go for more technical terrains now even more challenging surfaces I guess it can still go beyond what it is giving me right now initially i was a little bit skeptical about having carbon parts on a gravel road bike but this carbon wheel set together with the fork is performing so well here not only that it gives me more responsiveness but at the same time it is helping me to reduce a lot of the vibration pick up on the road and i think that is why i'm feeling so comfortable on this cockpit here my hands aren't really numb after you know all these vibrations it's just very comfortable the SRAM rival AXX electronic shifting definitely is a big big plus point for me now I always thought that having an electronic group set on a gravel bike was kind of an overkill but it really isn't that way I come to appreciate the benefits that the electronic shifting can give me on gravel roads it's so seamless and so smooth and that's very important because gravel terrains can actually change within seconds and to have 
a shifter that can shift you into the right gear is so so much a benefit and the last thing that i find amazing now this is the first time i have a dropper post on gravel bike and it's kind of surprisingly useful because when i'm riding on gravel terrain uh, i need to really adjust the riding posture to handle different technical terrains and having a dropper post that allows me to adjust the saddle height accordingly is just such a pleasure and this comes with a 75 mm travel plays a big part so it can allow me to go up and down those terrain with ease <laughs> This bike comes in a very incredible price and now let me explain to you by breaking down the individual component pricing well over here first let's take a look at the wheel set we got the Novatec G24 carbon wheel set and that itself costs eleven hundred dollars one thousand one hundred dollars okay and this dropper post, the RockShox XPLRT dropper post, costs $1,000 in retail price. And not to mention here the SRAM Rifle AXS 1x12 full group set can easily fetch $1,500. And if we just put these three components together, we have a price of $3,600 Singapore dollars. That is already more than the retail price of this whole bike guys now do you understand why i say the price was amazing it's such a steal if i were to build this bike myself i can never be able to achieve this pricing and so that is one thing that i always like about polygon bikes because they always always deliver a lot of quality and values with a much more affordable price other than the price let me tell you what else i like about this bike the frame has got a very relaxed geometry if you look at the design here the top tilt slopes downward very extensively so it is as though it is like a mountain bike frame it brings the whole body posture very laid back so when i was riding on this I feel so so comfortable even the most comfortable endurance road bike that I have ridden before doesn't feel like this the good thing about this is that when you go gravel riding most of the time the terrain isn't as smooth and as comfortable as on tarmac roads so with a upright posture it's gonna bring you much more comfort and that can better the handling as well and next the wireless shifting is just something I, I can't complain about it's just ah, it's just sweet now I never thought of using electronic group set on a gravel bike before because um, well I just thought that it might be an overkill maybe not not too necessary especially when we are not doing competitive riding but after using this I'm just convinced that this is a is something that gra gravel bike should have you know when we are riding on gravel roads the terrain can be really harsh and sometimes you can meet with a sudden ascent or sudden descent or something technical comes along the way and you need to adjust your gear accordingly and with this wireless shifting it is so seamless the shifting is so smooth and so easy so I don't have to really spend a lot of effort to turn my hand and you know that can take away a bit of the bike handling and the control I have on the steering but with this electronic shifting just a simple press of the button and you go into the gear that you like and that is just amazing and to couple with this electronic shifting we got a gear ratio that can really conquer harsh terrains on gravel roads now I got a 40T chain ring here uh, together with a 10 and 44T cassette now for me this ratio is really good because it allows me to climb up really slip slopes even off-road and at the same time when I want to pick up the speed on a flat road it, it is still substantiate because I've got 40T with a 10T 
at the back and that is a very good ratio to go fast. On both roads, I can still get it up to decent speed. Now, since we are on the group set, I do want to highlight that I appreciate having this crankset to be 165 mm and it's fitted on both S and M frames. So for L and XL frames, they actually have a 170 mm crank arm length. Now, this is a very, very good consideration because when it comes to sizing of the bike, it's not really one size fit all. But in the market, most of the time, we see that whatever size that it is, they are just slammed with a 170 or even 175 mm length uh, crank arm. So I really appreciate that we have got a shorter crank arm here that not only caters to the terrain, but it also is kinder to the rider that are shorter. And I think Polygon has done a really good job in putting the consideration into even such minor details. Now, as for the wheel sets, now looking at the setup here, the Novatech G24 carbon wheel set, and fitted with a 700 by 44C, the V Rocketman tires. Now, definitely this bike is set up for gravel routes. You can see that this bike is going to bring you to a whole lot of different places. And not only that, it can cater up to 50 mm tires, means it can really go to harsher terrains and beyond what we have done for this review. So that is really, really incredible. And I appreciate it that they have a carbon wheel set because not only that it brings the overweight lower, but at the same time, it adds to that comfort because when you're riding on gravel roads, you are going to face with a lot of vibration that you pick up from the road itself, from the pebble, from the rocks. And having this carbon wheel set really significantly makes it more comfortable because it absorbs a lot of those vibrations. And yeah, coupled with this tire, no wonder I feel so comfortable, you know, even for the off-road terrain. And if you're wondering whether this carbon wheel set can stand the harsh and punishing road conditions, well, let me tell you, if you haven't watched our previous video on our first impression test ride on this bike, we have brought it to Chestnut Park. Accidentally thinking that that was a terrain that uh, a gravel bike can go, but that was actually a mountain bike Trail. And I also did a little bit of jump. It wasn't caught on camera, but it did survive and it come off unscratched. Not even any bend or dent. So definitely I can assure you that this carbon wheel sets can stand those harsh terrains. Another good thing about this bike is that it comes with a dropper post. Now I say it's a good thing, but initially I, I wasn't sure whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because I haven't tried it before. This come in so so practical when we are faced on the different terrain changes usually that will happen on gravel routes and you need to adjust your body position sometimes you need to stand up sometimes you need to drop a bit lower and with a dropper pose an electronic dropper pose you can shift the saddle height up and down very easily just like shifting your gears and that ease of changing their saddle height to adjust your riding posture comes in so handy. And now I really appreciate that they have this featured on this bike. This battery here and the derailleur battery, they are interchangeable. So in the event that your shifters, your derailleur's battery is flat, you can still change the dropper post battery down there well, you sacrifice your dropper bolts, but you still keep your shifting capability. So I think that is something, well, very uh, practical to have as well. And finally, what I love about this bike is that it comes with loads and loads of mounting points. At least five different places that you can mount a water bottle over here, over here, over here, here, and even on the down tip at the bottom of the down tip. So there are just so many places for you to mount, not only water bottles, but it also means that you can now mount in different type of uh, bags or carriers or you know on this bike for your commute or for touring. Well, I haven't get a chance to experience bike touring, but definitely something that I would like to explore. But looking at this bike, it already makes me excited and I can already 
have ideas on like how I want to mount different things on it and bring in all those loads and go uh, bike camping or you know for a long distance touring if you want you can really use this for your commute as well the disc brakes perform so well they perform really really well and very responsive well that is not surprising and um, something that I would expect it to do actually there are some minor imperfections that I would like it to improve on actually and uh, number one being that while the bike is mostly internal cable routed uh, we still see some exposed cables here I mean actually it's just the two hydraulic brake holes here now if it can be internally routed as well just like how Polygon has done it to their SAD the Stratos SAD then it would be perfect not only aesthetically it looks clean and neat but at the same time I believe it will also help uh, when I put on a lot of different carrier bags and racks as well so it will just reduce that kind of disturbance the second thing is about the stem length now we've got a 50 mm stem here it looks a bit weird it's just a little bit short now I, I mean this is something personal I feel that you should still have minimally like 90 mm to be sufficient and uh, well that's just my preference and finally while it has got a lot of different mounting points all over the frame because of the introduction of a dropper post we have to sacrifice having big chunky saddle bags to counter that you have to choose alternatives such as having a pannier rack at the back so yeah that is just some um, adjustments that you have to make in order to live with this beauty of a dropper post and that is about all that i want to nitpick on this bike last but not least i want to comment on the color of this bike now every time when we have a polygon bike we have something to say about their color and this time they have done well i am very impressed with this color it is very beautiful and it's got very good details inside so if you take a closer look you can even see some contour lines that is designed and you know it's laced on this top tube and even also on the logo this is beautiful and i think they are starting to hear our feedback and getting their colors more and more refined who is this bike for now i must say that the bike has got incredible value based on this price tag it's offering you so many goodies that i don't have to repeat them and it also has a very strong identity of being an all in all gravel bike so if you are still looking for a gravel bike for your next adventure to bring you to terrains that your road bike cannot go then i think you can give this bike a very serious consideration with that said i really think that this bike has got the potential to be the best gravel bike 2024 at least personally i think it is so that's all i have for you today for polygon band r9x if you have more questions or anything that you want to ask about this bike do let us know as well and put them in the comment box below before i go i'll leave you with the hub sound test of this novatet g24